second member of the Four Timers Club is Cameron Lloyd, and whenever the Four Timers Club is honored, she's now going to have the honorary robe. So there you go, right Thank there. You. Just like Takiya Nichols got when she got the Four Timers Club last year, and you've joined Lofty Company in Takiya Nichols. Yes. Yeah, the all-time home run hitter, and you're the all-time skills leader here yeah. at Cedar Ridge High. So congratulations. Thank you. The first time I actually ever spoke to you was uh, at Jordan. You were, a little, you were a little mad because you just lost that game, if I recall correctly. That was during your freshman year. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Did you think, I mean, you were young that then, really young that then. You are just barely a teenager. Did you think you could accomplish everything you've accomplished here? Um, I think so. I mean, really? I always set goals for myself. I always try to improve. I always try to be as best as I can, and I always... I love competition, so mm -hmm. I'm always trying to be number one. But you, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I would say like I'm not always number one, but yeah. like I always learn and try to grow from everything. I know you, I knew your mom and your dad growing up. How much do you think that comes from being in a competitive family? Um, it's a lot. We're a very competitive <laughs> family, <laughs> um, but also just like sports in general. We're a big sports athletic family, so yeah. it's like engraved in me. <laughs> Did you think a state championship could be possible with this team back in 2018? Yes, me and Julie and Cam Lanier, we've been dreaming since then. We were like, we're winning a state championship. Really? We knew everybody who was coming in, like future years, we were like, we we're going to get this. Yeah, so you, you thought that this was all possible. Mm -hmm. uh, this is 12 straight wins now for you after you beat Williams tonight. Yep. So it's progressing. What has this team learned since the Rose game? Um, that we can't be afraid to lose. We just got to come out and play. Um, we got to be the outlasting team, and we just got to play our game yeah. and really reconnect and be united. Now, last week there was a game against Eastern Alamance, and you had to get clever with your celebrations. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, what all were you doing for those who don't know? Um, I don't know. Sometimes we were, like, grittying. Yes. We were doing the worm. Doing the worm. <laughs> you were doing breakdance and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> who had the best worm? I don't know. We actually all could worm pretty good. Really? <laughs> yeah. Was Addie the best or? Addie had a good worm. Addie had a good, you did the worm. Yeah, I did the worm. How would you rate your own worm? I'd say I about a 7.5. 7 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. Okay, well, that wasn't good. And you ran wrapped around <laughs> Megan Scobie, who was yeah. coaching the team that night. So. <laughs> yep. Well, that's, yeah, that was different. Yeah. So anyway. Well, thank you, Cameron, as always. We'll talk to you again soon, but this is the fourth time you've won this award, so congratulations. You'll join your ever-growing trophy case, and I hope you <laughs> hope you take up the Bucknell University. Yeah. Too. That'd be nice, too. <laughs> Although, you're going to have a small door. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. Mm -hmm.